Hey guys, it's Opus in here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today guys, I am back with episode 3 of Sim 3 Tips. Today guys, I am going to be showing you how to install mods. Now, not many people are asking me at the moment, but if you go look all around YouTube, all around everywhere that has stuff to do about the Sim 3, a lot of people are going to ask you how to install mods and I had someone recently over on Twitch actually ask me how to install mods while uh, I was watching Girl Meets Pixels live stream oddly enough and uh, they were asking me how to install mods they were having some issues so I think they didn't understand it properly or what but I'm going to go ahead and go into depth on how to install mods the quickest way possible in this tutorial now I've already done this guys uh, and also just before I begin, I am not going to be harming my own mods folder. Uh, this is in my Sim Free game, you can see. Um, I'm not going to be harming this, but I'm going to kind of try and explain it to you guys on how to install mods. So, uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the video. So, what you want to do first is you want to go ahead and download a program. This is WinWar. Uh, WinWar is a very useful program, and I use it personally. And what I do with WinWar is like I um, pretty much just extract the files. This is going to be needed though because we're going to be extracting a couple of files in this tutorial, specifically the mod folder we're going to be downloading. So uh, yeah, um, so once you have that downloaded and installed, you are pretty much ready to go do this tutorial. So the first thing you will need, um, like you will need for your game is the mod folder from mod the sims now there's a couple of ways of getting a mod folder the very first way you can do it manually or you can go to this site and download it and this is a, a like a mod folder um pretty much uh show you like showing you how to install mods pretty much uh you i would recommend reading this and uh, it's on mod the sims mod the sims is a very good site by the way to download mods but however you will need to sign up I have told you back in episode one on how to install the houses. You have to sign up for Mod the Sims to download anything, which is a little bad. But I think for this, you should be okay. So uh, yeah. So what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and scroll down to the middle of the page, and you want to go ahead and click download here. I always recommend reading this though. Uh, pretty much, it's going to be the same steps I'm going to be showing you here. But just to give you an idea, if you're still not understanding what I'm doing. What you then want to go ahead and do is you want to go into your download folder and you want to go ahead and right click with WinWar and extract here. Now, I could also do extract, yes. Yeah. If you do extract files, that will go somewhere else, but I'm going to do just do extract here. Now, I already have a mods folder, so I'm just going to go ahead and say note all. Uh, I didn't notice I actually had a mod folder here. Now, normally this will have three files when you enter. There's the overwrites. We don't need to worry about that um, because it is, well, it is important, but we're not going to be doing anything with it. Packages is what we're going to be mainly, going to be kind of mainly, what do I mean? Mainly uh, concentrating on. Uh, this is where all our mods are going to do. Now, normally there would be two mods here, uh, which there is. And uh, yeah, you, there would be the no builds, sparkles, and you know, intro. And then we have a resource.csg. This is very important. This is like the line of code that tells the game that there's mods in your game. It's very, that's how I can easily explain that. Uh, but yeah, so what you want to go ahead and do now is you want to go to right click, cut, then go to documents, electronic arts, sims free, and paste it in there. I'm not going to paste it. But you can press Control V or right click, and you can see a paste button right down there. I'm not going to do it though because I already have a mod folder, so that's not a problem for me. But if you want to go ahead and do that, go ahead and do that now. Um, and once you have the mod folder here in game, you'll see that this is my mod folder now. But you'll only see those two files, and they are in game. For me, I just have so much stuff. Uh, I'm not going to harm my own. So uh, yeah. But now go ahead and launch your game. Uh, I also just before actually before you launch your game I recommend deleting the caches here because they can be sometimes can lag up your game 
So I'm just going to go ahead and delete them for you guys. And also delete the script errors. This is the ones you want to delete. Also, don't worry about these script errors. They are kind of normal for me if you're running Windows 10, I've noticed. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and right click and delete. These are all the caches you need to delete. Now, don't worry about that because you use presets because that's how I model mine. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and right click and go to empty recycle bin as well. Uh, just to speed up your computer. And yes, now once you get into game, guys, now it will look a bit different to me because, like, to you, because you're only gonna be seeing one or two lines. Um, but um, I'll just give you an example of mine, what it will look like, like when it's full. But you should always see one or two lines when you launch your game. Uh, it should actually pass the um intro skin, so don't worry about that if it does, because that's what the no intro mod does. And then I should uh, go on to the loading screen, give it a minute or two to load. And then you should see a screen saying, uh, I don't know what it would say. I will have it on screen right now for you guys. It will give you kind of an idea. Now mine, it's like full of mods. But you should only have one or two lines of mods just telling you that your mods are successfully working. So don't worry about that. That's just a good sign telling you that your mods are working. Now, I also recommend you go into build mode and test out the no sparkles mod. That's pretty simple to do as well uh, in game. So, uh, yeah, but I will be back to you guys now in a second. I'm just going to show you how to install mods next. So, I'll be back to you guys then. Okay, guys, I am back. And you can see we're going to go on to the most important part of the tutorial. So, I am now going to show you how to install a mod and it is going to be kind of a similar method remember that package folder i talked about earlier well that's where your mods are going to be and i showed you that the two mods were in there so uh, yeah but we're on nras today there are a couple of sites that do sim3 mods but i'm going to be using nras and the good thing about nras is you have so many useful mods like there's so many of them i use a lot of them you may have noticed i have careers there's quite a couple of them i have i have air trap uh, I have um, home opener I have hybrid I have master controller I have mover I have overwatch I have so many mods like by the way story progression saver um, register and relativity I believe and um, who are traveler I have all those mods and they're so so useful and I just recommend testing out NRAS mods like they're very good and as well they update them once in a while so uh, yeah but for today's tutorial i am going to be using home opener now i already have this in my game but uh, what i'm going to do is kind of give you an example of this file so uh, yes yeah, so here it is mrs home opener here on mrs we all you can see here that we are pretty much on the page so what you want to go do, it's a bit different for every site, but for the site I'm using NRAS here, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go down to versions here, and you can see there's going to be it, ensure that you install the right version. So yeah, I would recommend reading this. Now for me, I am going to be downloading one for 1.42 to 1.69, because I'm running 1.69, so it will work. Now it does say here that it works on 1.63 to 1.69, I don't know what's going on right there. Uh, so I must have changed, but they forgot to change or whatnot. So uh, yeah, but yeah, I would recommend reading this. All the notes you need to know, all that sort of stuff. Um, now you can see now. Don't worry about that one. Uh, there's a warning here. Now I would recommend reading the warnings and the documentation. But you can see there's a warning here saying always back up your saves, which I'll show you how to do that now in a sec. But what you're gonna go ahead and do is download the mod uh, of your choice. I'm using the home like the home opener mod just for example i'm not going to exactly install this and you can see there's the mod i've installed it's in also in a zip file so what you want to go ahead and do is right click and extract here most nearly all mods i know are in zip files so i would recommend downloading with more and the mod folder so it's so bad but anyway what you want to go ahead and do now is you want to go right click cut uh, documents electronic arts sims free and mods and packages and just paste it in here now you can see that mine is sorted out i'll show you how to do that just at the end of the video 
for anyone who is wondering, because some of you guys may be wondering how to do this, and uh, I'll show you at the end of the video. So uh, yeah, I'll, now I'm gonna go show you that the mod is working. Um, my mod is working, so I will go into game and just show you right now. All my mods are working, and the mod that I kind of just showed you kind of how to install is working as well. So uh, yeah, I'll be back to you guys now in a minute. While I was recording the last clip, guys, I forgot to show you how to back up your saves. And you may be wondering, why did you forget to do this? It was just human error, and I am going to just show you how to do it right now. And to make sure you do this before you install the mod, I didn't just, I forgot to get around to it, but I'm going to just show you right now how to back them up. So I'm just going to go into my uh, documents, so Electronic Arts, The Sims 3, and go into your saves. And uh, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go right click, like just copy whatever saves you want to back up. I'm not going to back up these saves because I don't really care about these saves anymore. So uh, yeah, but you want to go ahead, click on the saves that you have here. You want to go ahead and right click and you want to go ahead and press copy here. And then you want to go ahead and put it somewhere else inside your game. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in a folder dedicated to this stuff. So uh, I'll just go ahead and put back up the saves here. Uh, back up saves and I'm going to put 2017 and I'm going to put in my hook for my like, cook. Why did I call them cook? I don't know why, but I know, I'll show you that later. I never place the files to your destination uh, like I had uh, or uh, put them in there if it doesn't ask you that. But I already have these saves in there already, so yes. But uh, anyway, um, I'm now going to show you the mod that you're we're here for working in game. So I'll be back to you guys now in a second. Okay guys, I am now back in game, you can see. I am actually with my current household just for today. Um, I am going to be doing a video on these guys like next week or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to give you an example of the homemaker mod. Oh, sorry, not the homemaker mod, the home opener mod. Um, now, what this mod does is pretty much opens people's homes and for like without even going to the lot. So I'm just going to show you here. Here's a home. I think this is from the Altos, if I'm correct. I think the Altos household, if I'm correct. So yeah, we're just going to go into their lot here. And we're just going to go ahead and you can see if I press the, these keys, the up page, up page, down keys, you can see it's actually working. And it's like without even going to the lot, you can see what this lot looks like. It's so weird, right? But yeah, it has a, apparently a kitchen, you can see, and a living area, and a relaxing area, a pool bar, like a pool outside there. And also up here, it has a gym, apparently. Um, nice to know. Then it has a bathroom. It has a office here, basic office, a bedroom, a little kind of like lobby kind of like special area and her bedroom looks pretty cool and her bathroom and it looks pretty cool this house but we can also go to that lot without even asking for the sim permission just to show you this so we're just going to go ahead and read my sim here Lapita Alto yeah she used to belong to this house by the way but my sim decided to marry Lapita Alto so yeah that that's pretty cool if you wanted to know that's a cool fact about my household there's a crowd of them. okay break that off um also yeah my Easter parties were world is running somewhat smoothly guys want to know it isn't running the best but it is running a little smooth which is nice to know like i didn't think it would run this smooth but like it lags no i like lags once in a while of course it is lagging but it isn't as bad like it's not like that kind of stopped for a couple of seconds all that sort of stuff so yeah and you can see here that Medina's class are taking a field trip tomorrow to the police department i am just gonna go ahead and accept that uh make a dream yes we'll do that you're now a rebel, apparently. And oh, yeah, you're playing a game, right? Yeah, you are. Maybe we'll see. Oh, wait. Are you supposed to play a game right now, or is that being cancelled? No! Go to work! Go to work! Go to work! What is just going on? Prepare for game, okay? I don't know what was going on there, what he was thinking. That was weird. Uh, anyway, he's gone to work now. But yeah, just to show you guys, we're actually on the lot now. That was weird. <laughs> okay, we're on the lot now. We can go inside. I think if I'm correct, it shouldn't ask us to do anything at all. But it will send you home, unfortunately. But you can have a look at the lot, which is the nicest thing ever. And just to show you again, uh, it is why did they just close our thing? I anyway, we can have a look at people's lots, what they look like. It specifically will be useful when you want to buy a house. Oh, yeah. Oops, 
Um, yeah, if you want to buy people's houses, of course. And there we go. There's the lot again. But yeah, if you want to buy people's houses or want to buy a house, like in the future, it would be very useful. So then you can have a look at the house before going in. That would be very useful for that. And as well, guys, if you want to see if people's homes, is there anyone in? Um, so, yeah. But uh, anyway, guys, what we're just going to do is we're just going to end this video here. Um, oh, yeah. Before I end the video, actually, I am actually going to show you how to uh, organize your mod folder. So I'll go I'll be back to you guys now in a second when I'm out of game. Okay guys, I promised you before the end of this tutorial that I was going to show you how to sort out your mod folder. Um, which is safe to do guys, I recommend you do this if you want to sort out all your CC and mods. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how to do this. So uh, yeah, um, so you can see this is my mod folder here. They're all in um, their own folders like CC for example. I have all CC in it. Uh, mods i have all my mods there's quite a lot of mods and then i like mras that's all my mras mods and then i have my other mods as well um and then as well i also have um poses which i haven't installed too many but i am going to be installing more in the future so uh, yeah but i'm just going to give you an example how to make these folders it's actually very really simple and uh, you want to go ahead and just do and um, troll and your control shift down your keyboard and name it whatever you like let's say hannah name here and then just go ahead and put an any mod you like from your package folder into that folder it's safe to do guys just make sure you don't put any more subfolders in that folder um i'm just going to delete that because i don't need that folder but yeah just to give you an example how to do that but guys um i hope this video was actually very helpful to you guys i tried to explain this the best i could possibly could so uh, i hope i did explain it pretty well um I do plan on doing more mod tutorials in the future. I actually, one of the next ones I have planned is to remake my hospital overhaul mod tutorial. You may remember back in the day, um, it was rubbish quality though. It was the first ever uh, video I've ever edited in that program. So it was a little confusing at first and that's why it kind of was all messy the video. But I'm going to be making a much better version of the tutorial. And I'm going to bring back that same person who start, started it. Go watch that tutorial, the old version by the way. And maybe someone else, maybe actually a family on YouTube I'm actually into at the moment. So I may be, yeah, I may also bring them into the sim tree as well. So depending, I will not going to review Neil who it is, but if you go watch that video, you will know who it is, what I'm talking about. But yes, uh, I hope you do enjoy this video. Please do like if it was useful, comment if you have any concerns, and subscribe if you want to see more of these tutorial videos for the sim tree. And I will see you in my next YouTube video. Goodbye.